Now we're doing EDs for the quest rack. We're doing the Curse of Blackstone quest for the three huge XP lamps that I'll put into Herbage. Kill the boss! Did I win? I did win! Great work! Goodbye! And goodbye! Wait, did I really get 25k Dungeoneering XP from doing this in story mode? Because I think I did. That doesn't really make sense, but I mean, yeah, I'll take it. I'll just do that. Ignore the Pulsar and kill the boss. There we go. And Veraklith has been successfully taken out of the game. See you later, alligator. You're not an alligator. You're a dragon. And see you later. Fatality. There we go. All right. So now we've done eight of the nine bosses. I'm a little worried about healing at the ambassador, but let's, you know, let's get to the ambassador first and then we'll figure out the rest. See you later. Did I win? Curse of Blacks. I've done three huge lamps, 10% damage reduction, and four quest points. Not bad at all. Considering I hadn't done a single elite dungeon on this account, getting the entire quest done in a little bit under an hour is pretty solid. That is 129,000 herbal XP, which is leaving me very close to level 88. As soon as we hit level 90, I'll be able to instantly make my first overloads on the account. Eastern trunk, northeasternmost building. Ah, what is that? What is that entity? I don't like that. That entity hits hard? No. Wait, a, I, I'm gonna wait a second. Okay, it takes a while. It takes a while. Yeah, okay, it wouldn't have killed me. It would have like, you know, it would have hurt, but it wouldn't have killed me. Okay, open trunk. Okay, we got ourselves a superior sacrifice scrimshaw. Okay, I'll be able to use that. The Superior Vamp Scrim, that's obviously the important one for, you know, Rax reasons. Pretty cool. And then I will have one Ancient Bone. Okay. One of those. And one plate. Fair enough. I will absolutely take it. A couple episodes ago, I had a list of items I needed in order to fight a Raxor. And I'm actually going to add two things to that list right now. The first is a Morvan's Challenge Enhancer. It can be purchased via the unfocused reward enhancer from the traveling merchant for 10 million coins. This item effectively acts as a second sign of life that stacks with your original sign of life at any boss that is part of Morvan's Slayer Challenge. That would include a Raxor. The biggest downside to this item is it costs 10 million coins to acquire, and it procs before a sign of life. So I'll be at a Raxor with a sign of life as well as an enhancer, and if my HP ever drops to zero, instead of the sign procking and bringing me back to life, the enhancer will go first. Because of this, I'm gonna have to be extra careful, even more than normal, as every mistake is gonna effectively cost me 10 million coins. The last item I'm gonna throw on the shopping list is a death touch dart. This item will cost 5 million coins at the merchant, and it's a failsafe in case something terrible happens. If I run out of divine charges, or I start lagging, or anything of the sort, I'll be able to press a keybind to equip the dart, and hopefully it fires off on the spider and gets me out of there. That's the hope anyway. It's not plan A or B or C, but it is an item that I can bring that could save my hardcore's life, and that's a no-brainer. Thank you for the two quest points. 7k fishing XP, actually, that's pretty sweet. Good work, team. Okay, so I just got level 88 or blur, and I thought I was recording. Wasn't recording, as usual. But there we go. I can now make an extreme attack potion without having to boost for it, and I can actually boost up to 94, which means I can make prayer renewals. So that's all really nice. Most importantly, though, I'm just two levels off being level 90 and actually being able to make my own overloads, which is an absolute game changer and a half. So I'm so looking forward to it. I'm super fired up. And on top of that, I also have barely scratched the surface in terms of my herb tab. I've been making brews. I've got a little bit under 500. I can make another 300. But if you take a look here, I still have a ton of herbs. So anyway, I'm thinking 90 herb lore is gonna be pretty soon. That is level 95 constitution. And so far, this is going quite well. This is my first actual hour long buyer trip. And I think we've got a relatively good setup. I'm not using like a second account to open doors or anything. We're keeping it nice and, uh, you know, solo only. I am not using stat boosting potions at this point. I might just wait till overloads, but that's also level 91 def in the same clip. And we're actually about to get a strength level too. This could be the greatest Vire clip of all time. We need a bunch of money. We need to get the Morvan challenge enhancer and we need a death touch dart. 
And we're gonna have no problem making enough money for those just by camping these virus. We're also pretty close to 83 prayer, which will be my first prayer level through the virus. So yeah, anyway, things are uh, things are looking pretty good right now. That is level 91 strength as well as 127 combat. So yeah, not bad. I will absolutely take that. And we are actually crossing over a 3 million GP coin pouch as well. That is the Slug Menace quest complete. Couple more to go before ROTM. And that is the great brain robbery done. 249 QPs. Thank you for the 5k RM XP. 32 minutes. Not the best, but it is a long quest. And on to the next one. Now that we're an official pirate, TM. Oh my god, we get to accessorize. Oh man. Oh, this is such a decision. Oh dude, I'm going I'm going light blue. Dude, look at me! I look like a pirate AF. Oh man, I am loving this quest. And there we go. Rocking out quest complete. And level 90 to smithing. That's actually kind of fantastic. I would say equally importantly, we can go to May and grab ourselves a brand new QP dice. And hopefully get a die, but probably just get a million coins like normal. Thank you for the Barrow's die. Or the, you know what? I'll take a Gothic Skate Shield. I'm good with that. And that's the end of the Reaper assignment. Thank you for the 20k, and thank you for the 12 Reaper points. I'll take it. So we're actually over 100 Reaper points again. I don't even know what to buy next. It's either a Hydrix for a Death Touch bracelet, or it's a, uh, or it's Reaper's Choice. It's always good to do one more kill for good measure. So we'll do our final kill for good luck, and then on to Vindicta. 120 Dragon Bones. 150 Dragon Bones. Even better. Italo skill at zero and rage on this account. I just got two ancient components from the... Wait, are those good for anything? From the dog. Dude, are you kidding me? What are the odds of that happening? I'll take some components and I'll take my two quest points as well. And there we go. Battle work swift. Quest complete. And that's actually the end of the fairy quest series too. Put the magic watering can on the tool belt. Get rid of you. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. Don't need the four nails anymore. Don't really need a lunar staff anymore, but I'll keep it just in case. Sweet! We are in business, and so now we're one quest away from Ritual of the Mesrat. An Aquas Lament done. Awesome stuff. I am very glad we could get that one done. Yeah, we're completely ready for ROTM tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm running him through with my lance! No wonder he's covered in blood! Oh man, I am so sorry! Oh, buddy! I didn't mean to! And just like that, quest complete. Just siphoning my lance. I know I'm only level 10, but I actually can't level anything above that yet because my level's so low. So, just like that, we are level 52 invention. That is level 83 prayer done. That is the first full prayer level that uh, we've done just from Vyres. I'm not too sure how long it took, but it seemed to be pretty quick, so I'm very happy with that. Death touch dart, 5 million coins in the garbage. The first dart on the account. We probably will hopefully not have to need you at any point, but you know, um, I'll put you in the gear tab. My bank's a bit of a mess just because we've been questing up a storm, but you know, it'll do for right now, I'd say. It's go time. Clearly didn't, this is what happens when you don't watch my melee DPS guide, by the way. I'm just saying, if you pull your rebo bar from the wiki, this is what it looks like. So, you know, make sure to check it out on youtube.com slash the RS guy. You might learn a couple quick tips to make this boss fight not take 27 million years. Tiffy, hit him! Thank you. Ritual of the Majorat. Quest complete. Absolutely beautiful. Actually, though. Boom, we are level 78 agility. And more importantly, we are level 89 Herblor right now. Bang. Bang. One single level until we can make overloads. I'll probably do it off stream. Come on, level 95. Thank you. And extreme invention potions. Done. Okay, that was awesome. Let's go get a stupid amount of invention XP. The fact that I'm level 70 invention right now, we could almost start doing like precise five because I have armadal components. There we go. I am now level 74 invention. Sorry, 52, 55 invention, which was like a boost to 72. And now I can also make an alchemizer. I'm totally gonna do that. Clear and magic parts, that's fine. And then I also wanna make the auto disassemble. Yeah, this is the big one here. 
Base parts, head parts, simple parts. So we're gonna have to, maybe maybe tonight off stream, I'll take a run at these and try to make them. And then generator wise, simple generator. All I need is hundred simple parts. Awesome. Two grand master quests back to back. What an absolute treat. Yeah, it's fate of the gods time. We're a little underleveled for a lot of the combat in this quest, but it's gonna get me 200,000 divination experience, and it's also required for the light within, which we're not gonna do immediately, but we definitely need it at some point. So I felt like this was a good time to get it done. We're in a bit of a questing mood, and it happens to be a grandmaster quest that I have every single requirement to. At the same time, just doing the combat portions of the quest absolutely highlights how important it's gonna be for me to upgrade my gear and also get those overloads and those prayers. We're on the path to Araxor, and at this point, we can barely kill four Nihils, so we definitely have some work to do. That's 20%. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, the waves. Oh, actually, that was kind of fortunate. We, we set that up in a really good way, actually. We had two that were on like one HP. So, oh, they're still spawning though. Okay. Okay, that's damage. Are we good? We're good. Woo, okay. I made the right decision. I should have sabotaged. You know what? I made the right decision because he helped me. I'm fine with that. That's how this works. It's a give and take. I'm not going to sabotage someone at, right after they help me. Fate of the gods quest complete. Unreal. In the reward screen for the quest, you're going to see 100,000 divination experience, not 200,000. But there's actually a post quest reward that'll get you the other 100k, which we've gone and done right now. We're now level 81 divi, and I'm happy to leave it there for now. Okay. So time to pop penance, and I will actually stay for the full hour if um, if it's going well and I think I can, just because the, the drops are all so useful at this stage of my account where I don't have any augmentable melee gear other than a Guthans plate skirt, which is not ideal. So we're gonna kind of see what happens, but I would definitely be open, uh, I'd be open to sticking around here for a bit. It is my Reaper though, which is, you know, what brings us here in the first place. Goodbye, 11 second bandos kill. Whew, okay, we're liking this. Yeah, the setup is, is definitely, it's strengthened since last time we were here, without a doubt. Oh, come on, Jagex! I've got three Wando's War Shields now. Three of them. We're good. Whoo, that was close. Bando's Gloves, come on, dude. I've got every item that doesn't have a use. Man. All right, well, we're done with Bando's. Just got done making an auto disassembler and an alchemizer. I am quite happy to have them done. They're the lowest tier ones, so they're not particularly efficient or useful, but I'm sure I'll do something with them, and I'm really glad to finally have started up with machines. Now, if only I had a second yak, I'd be able to access yak tufts. They will allow me to make extreme divination potions that will make my divine charge gathering significantly easier. Okay, I just finished making 2,500 cannonballs. I'm hoping this gets my second yak because I really need the spirit yak. My charge pack is completely out right now and I don't want to do the tier 80 stuff. I now have the herbler level to make the extreme divi potions. I just literally need the yak tuft. Like it should work with this amount of cannonballs. We've already done an hour and a bit here. Should be okay, but uh, yeah, I definitely don't have my hopes up. This is an absolute process. They're quite rare here, but yeah, anyway. The objective is to get two Fremenic Yaks, I already have one. With two, you can then breed a Spirit Yak, and then that Spirit Yak will give me the Tuft that I need for this setup. Oh my god, did I get one? Yes, dude! I literally only have seven cannonballs left. Okay, now it has to be a female. Please. No! Oh, that was like, that was actually like the biggest transition from epic win to colossal failure. 2,500 cannonballs. My cannon is out of ammo. And we do not have a yak breeding pair yet. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. And outside of that, I hope you're all well. Have a good one, and I will see you in the next one.